Hello everyone. I'm going to talk about our work in which we title is as a pharmacovigilance application of social media mining, an ensemble approach for automatic classification and extraction of drug mentions in tweets. The authors that contributed to this task are Majad, Juan Banda, and me, Luis, as your presenter. Firstly, classifying tweets mentioned in drug terminologies and extracting them is important research, especially in pharmacovigilance. Also, using Twitter to perform these tasks is challenging for some reason. For example, we can find some tweets slang terms for drug names. And to address this task, we propose an ensemble approach to classify tweets, as well as two different approaches for the extraction of these mentions. To classify tweets either in the positive or negative class, we propose an ensemble model by combining BERT, BioBERT, and CTBERT. Also, we use a dataset provided by BioCreative and see in the table below. Moreover, it is important to mention that the splits for training and validation were provided by the same source, and the class imbalance was the challenge behind this task. To build an ensemble model, we considered the predictions obtained in the validation dataset, as well as the FN score obtained from each individual model. For the prediction value, a negative one was assigned for the negative class, Otherwise, a positive one was assigned. Therefore, if the final prediction was greater than zero, it was classified in the positive class, otherwise in the negative class. The first approach proposed for the extraction process consisted of a dictionary-based approach, in which different slang terms for drug names were extracted from different sources to build this dictionary. Also, manual disambiguation process was implemented, since there were some ambiguous terms like, for example, terms related to names, numbers, words, in other languages, etc. By using this dictionary, a matching process was performed on the tweets for the positive class, in which the output consisted of a tab-separated value file containing tweet along with the drug span and their position as seen in the figure from the right. For the second approach, we used a name entity recognition system bird based model, uh, in which we fit this model by using the dataset from the positive class from the training set used for the classification process. Also, an additional subset for this of, of, of this dataset provided by Tecumala et al. was also used, with around 190,000 tweets, thus leaving a total of approximately 195,000 tweets to train for the inner per based model. Using a dictionary provided by the same author, we tag every single token from the tweet that was found in the dictionary, which consists of a manually created RX norm dictionary containing drug names. The process of tokenization and tagging was as shown in the figure located in the bottom right corner. With the fine tuned inner model, we identified four possible drug mentions, and the structure for the output was the same as in the previous approach. In the results obtained for the classification process, we can see that the simple model achieved an F1 score of 0.88, surpassing the results obtained from the other models. Also, in the confusion matrix from the table, we can see that out of the 105 tweets from the validation datasets, the simple model was able to correctly classify 97 tweets in the positive class. And for the extraction process, by using the first approach, we were able to extract only 9 drug mentions from 9 tweets. Moreover, in the second approach, from 97 tweets that were classified in the positive class, we were able to extract 85 drug mentions. In conclusion, automated approaches can remove labor-intensive manual curation, thus leaving the process faster, especially from sources like Twitter in which it contains a huge amount of data to handle and process. Furthermore, despite the very polished classes presented in the training and validation dataset, the sample was able to perform better than any single fine-tuned model. Also, the process of drug extraction was not straightforward, as one well need to consider various factors like, for example, misspelled drug mentions, for example. Additional steps can be done to extract even more drug mentions, like implementing a keyboard decent approach to identify drug mentions that are not currently written. If you have any more questions, do not hesitate to let us know in the Q&A session. Also, 
below are our email addresses if you have any more questions. Finally, you can check the paper in the link provided down below. Thank you so much for your attention and have a great day. This is thank you for all the authors in general. So how do you leverage the practical usage of the problems that you are solving with the chosen model? Yeah, actually, if I understand the question correctly, um, in our case, it will have to go a different route because our problem uh, specifically, we target a more theoretical problem uh, in terms of how to train a model which is sparse and how to do it in a flexible way. Um, so if we could follow up that question to something that would be a bit more applicable to uh, perhaps our case, uh, that would be great. Yeah, I feel that, I, I don't know if this question is maybe intended to uh, uh, like uh, uh, works that are a, a little bit like more uh, theoretical. Um, like, I don't know, in my, in my sense, I, I do, I feel that I do a very uh, applied uh, um, uh, work with uh, 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 trying to identify and track trolls, internet trolls. Yeah, that's just my, my opinion. Yeah, same thing from us from the pharmacovigilance paper. I mean, the model itself didn't really matter. I mean, it's just, you know, the combination of how you get the data, how you frame the question and you know, the model itself is just a tool to to get something out of it. But we could have tried, you know, anything from a very simple model to a very complicated model. But, you know, I think the end goal was a little bit something that would have come out anyways, but, you know, any model we, we would have tried.